This hot dog restaurant in Berkeley is staying busy after a national controversy over an employee seen in this photo at the Charlottesville rally. Top Dog posted signs saying Cole White resigned. Customers say it's unfair for the restaurant to be criticized for an employee exercising free speech, no matter how hurtful to some. You don't know what people are thinking. You hire them believing what they tell you. You don't know what they're really thinking. People have made death threats and called for a University of Nevada Reno student to be expelled after photos appeared of him attending the rally. It was a huge tragedy. Uh, I didn't go to see anyone hurt, especially anyone killed. The school says it won't expel With Peter C. Vietanovich, uh, but he's no, worried he won't get exactly. into law school or get a job. That's too bad for them because the Constitution isn't going to help them. McGeorge constitutional law professor Brian Landsberg says that's because the Constitution only protects people from government action, not private companies. There are some protections for public employees, but even those are somewhat limited. Employees can try to fight back, but chances of successfully suing an employer are rare. The statutory protections are pretty sparse. And then there's the court of public opinion on social media. We live in an, a connected society now. We can find people like that. Above the fray, co-founder Thomas Dodson explains freedom of speech is not freedom from consequences. You're saying not just to the group that's there, but you're saying to the world, this is how I believe, this is what I think. And if you associate yourself with an extremist view on any side, you're likely to come onto the ire of your employer. Later tonight, we'll have more questions and answers about freedom of speech and protections for employees that will be on our KCRA mobile app. Brian Kelly. Uh, Dana, so when are employers not allowed to retaliate or fire you? Well, Landsberg said usually when you're whistleblowing or have claims of discrimination.